How to use schema markup for SEO. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to share with you great insights for adding schema markup for a typical WordPress site, but you can use the logic to mark up any type of content management system. When we log into our search console, structure data menu link, when we press on it, we shouldn't see any items with errors. If there are any items with errors, that is the first step to marking up your site, as in fixing that up first. Because if anything, you don't want Google having any issues with your website, including structured data. Following the links in the help section gives us great examples for structured data that Google supports, including recently introduced rich cards. Now let's grab this sample script. Let's log into our dashboard. If we locate header.php and locate head portion of a HTML document and place that script just after the head anywhere and if we just change it to match our details and save the file that means, all of a sudden, we've just told search engines who can understand this, that we are an organization, our URL is this, contact point for customer service is this telephone number. Therefore, it will be displayed if it's appropriate in the search results. So, rich results previously was called rich snippets. Nia includes many different things. Knowledge graph cards, I'll show you what that is all about as well in a second. Let's take a look at site name. Header.php, PHP based. I'll show you my local copy. For WordPress, we are looking at the same file, header.php. Now, for WordPress, we're saying if it's front page, this is the site name. For everything else, don't use this name, but use the blog name itself. So you can simply grab this code, place it inside header.php for WordPress, or if you're using Magento, simply locate, perhaps through your web hosting, where this head portion is. And just after it is good enough. Or if you want, you can go towards the end of head document, which looks like this here. It has the forward slash, basically says it's closing of head portion. While here, let me show you different ones. Site link search box for WordPress. You can simply grab this block of code, change it to match your website details and the name, if you're using different content management systems, perhaps you can remove these and just use this here. And we just remove it to match your domain. If you have a search function, if you do have search function, then you utilize site links. Social profile links. Let's take a look at what they are as well. Now, most sites will have social links, right? If that's the case, you want to be able to mark up that particular portion by using item prop same as. Let's say rank SEO. Facebook profile is this. Let me provide the link there to that. Add the link within the anchor. I'll just put a space item prop equals quote, double quote URL. And now, once I update this, that link all of a sudden became meaningful for Google, telling Google that I have a social profile somewhere. And this link and this website that it's been found on is same as my social link. 
social profiling. For site logo, I'll show you the footer section. We would want something like this here. Up to here. Same thing we saw before, but let me remove that portion so that you can see it doesn't matter what type of website that you have. We can use this information for logo. And if you're a local business, then the rest is here as well. Make sense? So I've shown you how you can combine different markup together. So that instead of putting one at the top, one at the bottom or somewhere else, you can basically do all that in one block, telling Google it's an organization with all these additional details. Because when you end up going to this particular site, you know exactly what Google spots. Now, that does not mean you can't do different things. Depending on your website, your products and your services, you can go to schema.org website and start exploring. These are all your properties that you can use. There are different ones, different ones for creative work, for person, place, product. So many different things you can do. But the main ones, I've just shown you the basics of them. The help section will show you so many different examples that you can easily utilize. While here, let me show you the complexities of schema markup. What we're seeing on the screen right now is the coding logic for WordPress. It has two portions for WooCommerce as well as without WooCommerce. And this is the logic. Take this as a sample only. Do not copy and paste this on the HTML portion of your site. That's where the markup can begin. And from the head till the footer, as in the end of HTML, what you can do is unbelievable. In a sense that once you begin, you can really, really tell search engines look at all these markup coming from my blog if i didn't use these markup then it would just be a document but now google and other search engines can see what the page contains on my blog another great tip that i'd like to share with you is let's grab this url go to the testing tool place that url and test it now we can see the testing tool and if there are any errors with any part of our site we can utilize this tool to remedy things as in fix it make changes because it's just a testing tool but now you can see at the end of the day structured data in schema markup for really search engine optimizing your website should be on your to-do list if you want to take advantage of the advanced features coming from search engines like Google. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like. And keep in mind, Rank Your Blog does have more great insights about schema markup, as well as I will be adding more in the very near future. I thank you very much once again for learning with me and I am wishing your website greatness on the internet.